This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. It's a great source to buy all your codes to play the Pokemon trading card game online. As you can see, they have a large variety of codes at reasonable prices, and they provide instant email delivery on purchase. If you make a purchase, if you use the code CABIGON5, you'll receive 5% off your order. Check them out and let them know I sent you. What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I have got a couple of mystery cubes today. So I got uh, two, as you can see, 500 yen each. Uh, the reason I got these ones, uh, they have the Pokemon Go promos on them. They have the Dragonite V, which we actually did pull out of a promo pack, and they've got the Melmetal V, which I don't have. So I thought we'd just see uh, what else is inside there. They look interesting. Let's see how we go. I'm hoping I can open this because I'm very sweaty. I know I keep complaining about this, but it's so hot. It's ridiculously hot. I'm sweating profusely. Suffering for the, uh, the content. Oops. Oh no, it's sticking. Get out. There we go. Alright. Take that one. Take this one. Okay, so we got. Oh, let me get some sleeves. We got the uh, Samurott V Star, which is a pretty decent card. And we got our nice Dragonite. Pick it up. Yep, looks pretty good. Condition looks all right. So this promo is um, is pretty cool. I like the artwork on this one. It's quite a nice looking card. Let's see what we get in here. Hopefully they're a bit more exciting than some of the recent ones we've had. Um, let's see anyway. I'm expecting some more recent cards, although I see some hollow stuff back there. Alright. So yes, Pokemon Go cards are in here. Not surprising, I guess. Incubator. Wonder if there's anything exciting kind of slipped in anywhere in the middle. I was going to say I thought I could see tag team cards. Tag Team Trainers. Ah, oh, that was an expensive card for a while. Alright, we're getting some uh, Sun and Moon era goodness. Ooh! Titan Liza Trainer Rare. That's pretty cool. Oh, these are expensive too. Once they go out of rotation though. Well, there's a lot of trainers in here. Oh! <gasps> This card was actually expensive as well. Promo one. Ooh, we got another trainer rare. Very nice. All right, this is a bit more exciting than usual, I have to say. I'd love a full art of one of these. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, we got the Poke Lily's Poke Dolls. U-turn boards. So many trainers. I was not expecting this. Ooh, reverse U-turn board. All right, I gotta rearrange myself a little bit. Getting a bit sweaty over here. My poor chair. I feel sorry for it. Alright, what do we got? So we're getting an interesting mix of new and old. Not that they're, I mean, they're not that old, the Sun and Moon cards, but they're, you know, out of rotation. Haven't seen them in any packs recently. Pikachu. Right, I like it. I'm liking this getting a lot of trainers. I don't know why we're getting so many Bulbasaur's though. Specifically, I do like Bulbasaur, but it's a lot of <laughs> a lot of Bulbasaur's. Kamiya Beavers. I think there's something hollow here. Pokestop is actually a good trainer card. Ooh, Snorlax. Nice. We take him. Phantoms. Okay, so, so far I'm pretty happy with what we've got. I'm wondering if there's anything on the front. Let's just see. Ooh! Yeah, Zoroark is expensive. Interesting. Alright, that's actually worth like a few bucks by itself. Okay, we're getting hollows. Inteleon, quick shooting Inteleon is good as well. Alright, that might be it. Just wondering if there's a ditto slipped in any of these cards by accident. We're getting squirrels. All right, I'm gonna just skip through. I'm gonna just look for dittos. We got a little module. 
All right, now we're getting Charmanders and stuff. Incubator. All right, so no Ditto's hiding in there. To be honest, that Zoroark is actually expensive. That's uh, a good pull to get. Definitely got our money's worth out of this one. We got a couple of trainer rares, which they they don't do anymore. All right, I need to move myself. My shoe's falling off. I'm wearing slippers. I'm inside the house. Oops, I'm shaking stuff. All right, next one. Let's go. Mel Metal. Yeah. All right, this one's a little bit more. Cool, there we go. All right, before I open this, I gotta wipe my hands off a bit. It's, I don't know what I can do. Like, I can get a, a fan or something in here, but it will just, like the, the sound will be very obvious in the background. I do have a microphone, but I assume it will still pick up a lot of the sound of the fan. All right, so we got our Calyrex Ice Rider. Get in the sleeve. I guess we'll just put hollows in a pile. And go... These trainer rares are actually quite nice. All right. And, ooh, Mel Metal. We haven't actually looked at this. Nice promo. Kind of generic, but it's it's... Definitely nicer than some of the other artworks, that's for sure. All right, so we got our two promos. That's very good. I'd love to see another one. All right, this is going to be another trainer-heavy one by the look of it, which is cool. Because trainers are definitely more desirable and valuable than just a regular common Pokemon card. That is for sure. And sometimes they just slip ones in there and you're like, this is worth a bit of money. Why is it in here? <laughs> see if that happens today. Lily. Her full art is like quite expensive now. The uh, the one of, of that one, Lily's full power or whatever. Worth like over a hundred bucks now, which is pretty crazy. It was maybe 10 when the set came out. I did pull one out of a box and I was like, yay, I want this card, but eh, it's not that good value wise. But yeah, now it's uh, definitely the one you want to get. Switch. We're getting a lot of uh, useful stuff. A lot of rotated stuff as well, though. Turbo Patch, Coach Trainer. All right. So no Trainer Rares so far in this one. The Burning Scarfs are actually reasonably desirable as well, though. All right, we get Scarf. Counter Gain. Oh, some of these cards were really good when they were legal. Switch, 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 Rotom Drone. It's kind of cool looking. A drone, Rotom, I should say. Helmet, Rocky Helmet. The medal. Hero, what is it? Heroes, medal, or something like that. Ah, uh, some classics. Tough Stadium. The dojo. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. Oh, Shrine of Punishment. Super annoying. All right, what's the Shrines of Punishment? Let's just go to the front because I'm dripping sweat. It's gross. All right, we got an Orbi to a VMAX. We got <laughs> the ball. All right, is this all trainer cards? Ooh, Fog Crystal's good. Man, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Buckets. All right, we're, we're getting a lot of good stuff in this one. Single strike, energy tool, scrappers, coating, metal energy, stadiums, bird keeper, net is good. That's real good, we'll put that separate. All right, what a funny one. All trainers, I was not expecting that at all. But like I said, it's probably desirable. <laughs> Look at the pile of trainers compared to the pile of Pokemon. It's very small. All right, we'll sleep up the last couple of cards, but yeah, was this worth $5? I definitely think so. We got a couple of nothing like V's and VMAXs thrown in, but uh, I'm happy with my promos. Uh, I did actually check and this one is like $1 and this one might be $2. <laughs> so 
Did we get our money's worth? I think so. We got lots of good trainers, like I said. We got some uh, useful cards. We got our two promos and a couple other Bs and stuff. And it costs 10 bucks. You know, you're not going to get that from 10 bucks out of packs unless you get very lucky. Anyway, that's some cubes. Keep our eye open. I I haven't seen any that are like more than $5 for a long time. They used to have the Mand Mandarake ones. You could get really good ones. Not so much anymore, but we'll keep looking. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think, guys. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.